Hi everybody, uh, this is Mr. Skelton uh, with a few uh, tips for learning the Green Belt song. We actually have uh, quite a few people who are uh, working right on the Green Belt and a few people that are uh, just on the edge of, of being there, so I'm sure they're looking very very forward to, uh, to getting to that Green Belt. Uh, I want to talk about a couple of little challenges uh, with the Green Belt. Uh, one of the challenges with the Orange Belt was simply getting fingers onto the string so we can change uh, the notes that the sounds of the notes and the names of the notes that come out. Uh, we had a little confusion with that, and I apologize uh, for that. Um, when you put a finger on a string, it changes the letter name of the note that comes out. And maybe that was a little bit uh, uh, unclear uh, in, in the book, so uh, we'll try to fix that for the future. Uh, but in the meantime, um, what you need to know about Old MacDonald is it uses two strings. Not at the exact same time, but some, most of the notes are on the D string, and there are a couple notes that happen to be on the A string, and they always tend to be in the same place, so they're kind of predictable, right? And Old MacDonald is a song that uh, most people know, so it, we should be able to kind of think ahead uh, to those. Now, I'm going to do this on violin. Um, we have to remember that the blue tape uh, for violin and viola is three fingers on the D string, and on uh, for cello happens to be four fingers, right? And you have tapes now. Just we, we want to get in the habit of using the correct finger. And by the way, when you put down, if I say three fingers or third finger, it's always the highest one that you hear the most. So this note will sound exactly the same as it will if I take these other two away. So if you're putting all three fingers, if I say if I say three fingers and you're putting all three fingers down or if you just put your third finger down, either one of those is fine. Right? They both have uh, their place in, in technique. Okay, so to make it a little easier, uh, I'm going to be I'm going to say it in terms of the colors, and this is why I, I chose the, the colors I did so that I don't have to constantly go back and forth between saying, oh, it's three, three fingers for this instrument and four fingers for that. Uh, so I'm going to be saying it in terms of colors. Now the first thing I want to do, I'm going to do the first line for you. And uh, I want to. Sh I'm going to do it by telling you the colors and the string that I'm on at the time. Okay, so I go up, up, on. So I'm starting on the blue tape on the D string. Right? Mo again, most of the notes are on the D string. I'm going I'm to pluck on the D string. I find it up here. You know, good dogs always eat, right? For violin or cats get dogs uh, angry for for viola. If I'm doing cello, you know, uh, all dogs go crazy. I look for that that D string. Okay. So here's it with the colors. Blue, 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 black, red, red, black. And this is where I come over to the A string for the red that's there. And if you look in the book, the red is a little higher up than the previous red was. And we go red, red, black, black. And now we have a blue again, but it's lower than what you just played. So we have to go to the lower string, the D string, to play it. So this is blue on the D string. Blue. Okay. Now, if I do this with the words that are there, then it, it sounds it should sound exactly the same, just with different words. Old MacDonald had a farm, and you know normally we would say E I E I O. I've changed it to B B A A G, and the reason is because those are the names of the notes you're playing. So we get a little opportunity to to learn those notes while we're at it. So Instead of E-I-E-I-O, I put my first finger on the A string, and B, B, that I pick it up for, A, A, which should make sense, it's the A string, and then the G is the three fingers, or, or the blue tape, on the, um, the D string, G, okay? So um, let me do that line, old MacDonald had a farm, not A string, first finger, B, B. A, A, D string blue, G. There's a little connector up for the word and, and in, in English is a connecting word, right? It connects uh, other words together in sort of a list. And that's your open D, the and. And then you play exactly the same thing, just the words are a little different. On that farm he had a note, and then A string first finger, the red tape. B, B. A, A, and then we go back to the blue and the D string for G, and then we got a whole bunch of 
D's and G's. So uh, G being the blue tape. Okay, so this is all on the D string. We're going between open and blue tape. So the lower sound is the open D. The higher sound you're going to hear happens to be with the blue tape. With a G, G here and a G, G there. All right, and then we get to stay on that same note. So you, you hold down nice and firm on that blue tape. Here a G, there a G, everywhere a G, G. And then guess what? We did the, the first line exactly the same way we did at the beginning. Old MacDonald had a farm. And then red tape, A string. E, I'm oh, sorry, B, B, A, A. And then blue tape on the D string. G. Okay. So I, I, I hope that helps. I, I don't have tapes on my instrument, so it wouldn't really help to see my fingers on there. But if you think about what, uh, what the colors I'm doing, we're, we are going to get in the habit of putting the same finger every time. If it's blue tape, it'll always be a third finger for violin or viola, or a fourth finger for cello. If it's a red tape, it's always going to be your pointer finger, right? And we always have one, one, two, there we are, one, two, three, four, right? We only use the four fingers anyway. So um, the middle finger doesn't get a tape right yet. It will later on. So we don't use it. I mean, you, it, it's okay if it touches the string when your third finger's down or your fourth finger's down. It's okay. Don't let it touch the string when your first finger's down, because then you won't. Then that's what you'll hear. We always hear the highest number that we put down. Um, and then again, if that sounds confusing to you, just just try to focus on the one that's supposed to be there, and that will be a, a big help. Okay, I'm going to make a separate video just so I can uh, keep the amount of time uh, low. I'll make a separate video with the bow. Uh, so you can you can go back and forth between them.